All right, how's everybody doing? Early morning, just got everything wired up. Got the laptop sitting there. So the camera might not be adjusting real well. You can see, got a small draw on her today. Uh, the top there is input voltage. It says it's around 24, so the bottom there is the load. This one here, it keeps flashing on and off because I got uh, this laptop. Um, a car charger, if you can see it down there blinking. Charging the battery to the Mustang off the sun, which is nice. Battery bank voltage is about 24.9. Reconfigured the solar to come in. It's about 750 watts of panels right now, and there is absolutely no sun at all. So right now the solar just comes into the charge controller here. Coming in at 48 volts. I'm going out at 24, which, let me see if, if you can see that. It's pretty blurry through the phone. I don't know how it's going to look to you. Anyhow, <clears throat> it says the target voltage is 29.02, and it's at 24.83 according to the controller. Current coming in is 0.8 amps, MPPT, output 17 watt. The array is coming in at 51.62 volts. And your rate current is 0.3, so a little MPPT action there, uh, bringing the voltage down, bringing the current up. And then there's some other information there, if you can see that. Sorry if it's blurry, guys. I'm going to do a couple of videos here of the, uh, the temperature, how many amp hours you put in. I put in two amp hours today, and it's, I don't know, 10 o'clock or so, so pretty, uh, pretty terrible. You know, we should be able to charge this battery bank. No problem. Each one of these batteries is uh, 115 amp hours. Uh, so the idea is to be able to charge it completely in one day. But uh, got the watch machine over here. Running off the sun. Got an hour and a minute left, so this is our first real load test. Um, and all I did is I just ran an extension cord back here and plugged it in. And it's back there. I don't know if I can even get back there. But it's back there somewhere. Plugged into the extension cord. Right there. Sitting on a nice plastic bag next to a piece of wood waiting for a spark. So we'll move that. And the horrible, horrible water heater it takes, you know, four kilowatts or so. We got something coming for that too. Anyhow. Uh, so here's basically the completed system. The only thing that's left now is hooking up all uh, 1,150 watts of panels. Right now it's only 750, and they're uh, just sitting on the ground. Of course, two of them are on the solar tracker, but the other two are just sitting on the ground. i got two more panels in my living room here, and uh, that's that. All right, guys, we'll have some updates coming. Uh, I'll update another video here pretty soon when this thing's done, and we can check the voltage and see... Uh, see if it made it or not or or what happened. So here's a real quick snapshot before we go. Hope you guys can see that. What if I try and clean the lens off? That's always good in the middle of the video, huh? Okay, made it worse. Anyway, alright guys, see you later.